So first turn on the case remote and also connect it uh, with the camera and then go to your smart uh, phone setting and go to the Wi-Fi and then you can see this is a case so connect to case then it's connect then we go to the case app then we take the live view turn on the live view so you can see today I use uh, my favorite transformer Bubble Bee as a model and uh, so uh, you can see it's uh, not clear so we can do the autofocus of course you can do the uh, manual focus as you prefer so you see the autofocus works you can see it's also support the uh, rotation of the screen so I can see it uh, uh, clear larger and the, the most important for the live view is uh, you can see here uh, the bubble bee is not uh, watch the screen so we can uh, turn it uh, to the camera and say hi to everyone so you can adjust uh, the focus you can see here so you can also adjust the focus uh, step by go to the setting and uh, the focus step size and go to like small and then you can go back and then turn on the live view and then you can see the step is much smaller there we can adjust the parameters we can adjust the parameters touch here and uh, you can see we can adjust the shutter speed, aperture, ISO, and the web balance, so on and so forth. If we adjust the aperture to like uh, 3.2, we can see it's very bright. So we adjust it back to 16. It's become normal. And uh, there is a, a quick menu which you don't need to go to those uh, parameter lists. For the quick menu, you can see here it's uh, uh, shutter speed, ISO, and uh, aperture. Maybe you prefer other parameters, it's okay. You can go to the settings and the quick menu, and then you can see you can adjust the parameters. So here, so first we deselect ISO and then we select web balance then we can go back to camera and you can see now the parameter change to web balance and also you can change the order of the three parameters in the setting it's pretty easy and uh, convenient there is a grid for you to adjust uh, the, the screen and uh, then you can take a picture by press the uh, shutter icon here after you take a picture you can go to the explore and uh, this is uh, picture we just uh, take and you can download it download to this uh, for the Android system you, the apps will download the picture directly to your uh, photo uh, folders so you can touch here go to your your photo folder you can see here and then touch this one and you can zoom in and check what's the results here pretty easy and also very good for the preview 
we can go to the features. There are three advanced uh, uh, photography the, uh, functions like the focus stacking, HDR, and time lapse. So for the focus stacking, you can adjust the, uh, the, the number of uh, photo you want to take, and the, the focus steps. And then, and then you can also take the live view by click here. You can see this live view and you can adjust the initial uh, focus. Right? It's pretty easy. And then you can touch the, uh, the star icon. Also you can uh, try the HDR here. So you can adjust the number of the photo you want to take, and you can choose the the, the parameters you want to uh, adjust. And also, this is a start, and this is a steps. And uh, for me, I personally like the time lapse. So for the time lapse, you can set the start and set the uh, the start time and the interval time like uh, um, like 3 seconds the end for example 5 minutes and then you can start so you can this shows uh, the total time lapse time is 5 minutes and uh, you will take 101 uh, photos I like this function much better because uh, I don't need to wait for the, the five minutes to take the time lapse uh, by stay the apps on. So what I can do is just uh, I can go to the settings and go to the Wi-Fi and I can just uh, disconnect the Wi-Fi between the, the, the smartphone and the case a remote, remote and uh, connect to my home uh, Wi-Fi. So now you can see this uh, camera is still working but at the same time I can just uh, do whatever I want. For example, I will go to the Yahoo to check some news and at the same time the, the, the camera still do the time lapse for you so it's pretty uh, convenient now then if I think it's almost closed or it's almost finished or I want to stop the time lapse before uh, 5 minutes what I can do is go to the settings to Wi-Fi and uh, connect the the case remote again and then go to the case remote and the features you can see it shows that uh, the, the, the time lapse uh, is still working and then I can stop it it stopped and then we can check go to the Explore, and now you can see it has take uh, several pictures for me. So it's very convenient. You don't need to uh, just uh, wait for the time lapse and uh, stand around the camera and uh, stay the smartphone on. You can just uh, do whatever you want. The case remote. Once you set up the parameters. The case remote will take the time lapse for you and you can do whatever you want. It's pretty cool.